Need someone finished off? Butterfly is here to gank. Whenever Butterfly kills an enemy hero, all of her abilities will immediately refresh, allowing her another round of damage. If she's able to get another kill off, her abilities will immediately refresh again. Her onslaught can make the enemy team fall apart like a stack of dominoes. In this video, you'll learn both the basics and advanced tactics with Butterfly. Let's begin! By the way, if you are only interested in the advanced gameplay aspects for Butterfly, feel free to skip to the second half of this video. Learning the Basics Leveling Your Abilities Butterfly's first and second abilities both deal damage and scale well with ability points. However, leveling her second ability, Sword Propel, also reduces its cooldown, making it extremely effective at higher levels. With this in mind, first level up Sword Propel, then Whirlwind, followed by her ultimate, Backstab, whenever it is available. Passive Assassin For her passive, Butterfly should always focus on targets who are running low, as this gives her a higher chance of triggering her passive. Since it works on either a kill or an assist, you can also help allies finish off a hero to gain its effect. First Ability – Whirlwind Whirlwind is the only ability of Butterfly that has a control effect. With its wide area of effect and damage, it can be used to harass effectively while laning. When she's low on health and being chased down, she can use Whirlwind's slow effect to allow her to escape. Second Ability – Sword Propel Sword Propel's range is longer than what is shown on the indicator. Use this to your advantage. With Butterfly's abilities not having any mana cost, you only need to focus on cooldown. Stack attack speed and damage to make quick work of enemies. Don't forget! Only get into a fight once the enemy has exhausted their control ability options. Otherwise, she'll get stopped in her tracks. Ultimate Backstab Butterfly is immune while performing Backstab. Yes, you can use Backstab while she's being focused to save her from an untimely end. Since it's also a dash ability, you can use it to pass through certain obstacles. Combo Tips Take note of some of these when using her abilities. Butterfly can cancel the finishing move of her abilities by using a normal attack. Early on when she's chasing down an enemy or in a small team fight, she can connect abilities and normal attacks to deal more overall damage. In larger team fights though, she will need to open with backstab followed by whirlwind, then sword propel to deal maximum damage. While she's hiding in the brush, she can initiate a fight using whirlwind, then sword propel to take a chunk of health off the enemy. If she can get a kill off, but the enemy is running away, use Backstab to gain ground for a kill. For talents, newer players should use Execute. As Butterfly is an assassin, her job is to finish off enemies as quickly as possible. Execute can be used to take off a chunk of life, allowing her to quickly finish off the target, helping her trigger her passive. Advanced players should use Punish. No matter her initial position, Punish is useful. For level 2 Arcana, get Pummel, Passion or Alacrity, and Ravage. For level 3 Arcana, get Onslaught, Assassinate, and Skewer. Try this item build for Butterfly. First, get Leviathan, then Gilded Greaves, followed by Mail of Pain, then Frost Cape, and finish off with Fenrir's Tooth and Ancestral Glory. Butterfly is good against squishy heroes like Ignis and Valheim. When she's fully decked out in items, she can finish them off in a single combo. For low mobility marksmen such as Yorn, as long as they aren't being protected by their teammates, their easy kills, not even Flicker, will help them escape from Butterfly. Dealing with tanky heroes like Crest is one of the biggest problems that assassins encounter, and Butterfly is no exception to this. Heroes with heavy control like Mina Gilder can hard counter Butterfly. Laning Tips With Butterfly's ability to run around the battlefield and gank enemies, she's particularly strong at jungling. 
In the early game, if the team already has a jungle, then she can go top or bottom lane. When laning, she can use Sword Propel plus Whirlwind to clear minion waves. When there are no more minion waves to clear, she can go harass the enemy jungler. Once she's in the enemy's jungle, what should Butterfly do if all the jungle creeps have already been killed by the enemy? She should walk to a Sage or Might Golem and ping the minimap to show that there's no monsters available. Doing this will allow your team to see the mark on the minimap immediately when the jungle creeps refresh. After reaching level 4, get your teammates to take down the Abyssal Dragon to give your team an advantage early on. After your team starts engaging the Abyssal Dragon, don't get in the fight immediately. Wait for them to weaken the Abyssal Dragon first before going in with Backstab. In the mid-game, Butterfly will have decent damage even though her items are not complete yet. However, since she lacks control abilities, she should work with allies to catch the enemy. For example, get an allied ally stir to use his ultimate on an enemy. Since it has a long-lasting control effect, Butterfly can get in tons of damage while the target is controlled, thus securing the kill. Butterfly is a hero who specializes in finishing off enemy heroes, so she should always engage in team fights later on. Always go for the carry and enemies who are low on health during team fights. Butterfly is not tanky, and her ultimate needs a target for it to be used. If she's surrounded, it'll be difficult to escape, so Butterfly shouldn't be alone on a lane at this point in the game. Advanced Gameplay As Butterfly deals most of her damage through abilities, items like Mr. Stabby, which help with normal attacks, won't be too useful for her. She will most likely be focused in every team fight. She'll need to go tanky to survive the initial onslaught by the enemy. As her abilities scale damage well even without items, for example, she can deal 4,000 points of damage at level 15 with all three of her abilities. We recommend Knoll Cleaver as her first item when jungling to help her become more tanky. Her second item should be Gilded Greaves to help deal with control, but if the enemy team has weak control, then get Sonic Boots instead. Butterfly's main item is Fenrir's Tooth, since it deals extra damage to heroes who are running low, thus synergizing well with her passive. Since it's an expensive item, it usually fills the fourth or fifth item slot. Here are two different item builds you could try. The first item build is a pure damage setup. For this, first get a damage item, then for the third item get Rank Breaker for mobility and cooldown reduction. The fourth item should be Fenrir's Tooth, while the fifth item should be an item that reduces the effectiveness of the enemy tank's defense. The last item should be a survival item like Ancestral Glory. If you need even more damage, then replace it with Death Sickle. This build allows her to easily destroy squishy heroes and tanks and is especially good when your team already has the advantage as she can still be focused down easily with this build. The second item build is a tank assassin hybrid setup. For this, get Spear of Longinus as the third item, as this will help Butterfly use her abilities more often. Taking advantage of Spear of Longinus's passive armor reduction effect on the enemy. Get Crimson Banner as the fourth item as it works extremely well with Butterfly's passive, allowing her to heal even more after a kill or an assist. For the fifth item, get Fenrir's Tooth followed by Ancestral Glory as the last item. As always, understanding the situation and the enemy will help guide the direction of your item build. Here are some things to know that can help you get even more kills with her. 1. Butterfly's fourth normal attack will enable her to dash forward a small distance. 2. After getting a kill, use the newly refreshed backstab on a minion or jungle creep to escape. Three. Using Backstab properly is extremely important. There are two ways to target using Backstab. The first way is simply dragging it over the enemy you want to target. The second way involves selecting Target Locking Mode, allowing you to tap the target's avatar to set a target for a Backstab. Doing this ensures that Butterfly won't mistakenly target a tank with her ultimate. Also, take note that you can also drag Frostbite to hit the target with a slow. 4. 
If the enemy you want to gank is outside of Backstab's range, then try using it on an enemy near your target and then continue to get the kill. If Butterfly is jungling, then go for Sage Golem at the beginning of the game while also signaling to allies to leave the Might Golem for her. Once she reaches level 4, the slow caused by the Might buff will help her get kills. If she runs into a tanky hero, then harass using Whirlwind and Sword Propel. Only use Backstab to chase the target. As a jungler, farming efficiency is very important. Here are three ways to increase it. The first way is to use normal attacks on melee monsters to cause aggro and follow you. This helps reduce the time it takes to get to the next creep, but make sure you don't let them get outside of their aggro range. The second way involves using backstab to pass through obstacles to save travel time. This works when you go around the obstacles surrounding the Sage and Might Golems. The third way is to first use Whirlwind, then follow up with Sword Propel, as this won't waste Sword Propel's attack speed boost. If Butterfly isn't jungling and is laning against a Marksman, she can then first take down the Seagull in the river, while the Marksman is taking the Might Golem, then return to clear the Minion Wave. Doing this will get her enough extra experience to make her reach level 4 before the Marksman. In the mid-game, Butterfly should work with allies to invade the enemy side of the jungle to reduce their available farming area. Then she can look for a chance to gank an enemy alone. Once the gank is successful, her team can use this opportunity to take down the Dark Slayer. Since many marksmen go for the Might Golem once it's refreshed, Butterfly can hide in the brush around it and gank once the marksman gets too close. Knowing when to engage as well as farming effectively are both extremely important in the mid and late stages of the game. Even right after a gank, find an opportunity to farm. Also, Butterfly should always focus on squishy heroes. Never ever target their tank first unless the tank is already running low and a kill is nearly guaranteed. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Arena of Valor's Road to Mastery.